Next question is from Taylor Baca. When should I start to prioritize organic grass-fed and non-GMO type foods? All right. Here's the list of priorities, okay? Calories, number one. Number two, macronutrients, proteins, fats, and carbs. Number three, now you can start to get into this kind of stuff. If your calories are high, your macros are off, you can eat all the grass-fed, organic, non-GMO foods that you want, and you're going to, you know, potentially, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if your calories are Now, that being said, healthy, and I'm going to go quote here, healthy foods, and I don't mean healthy processed foods, I mean actual unprocessed whole foods, tend to help you eat better, you know, or more appropriate levels of calories uh, and macronutrients. High, heavily processed foods, even heavily processed health foods, tend to make you overeat. So in this case, then you can start to prioritize those foods, knowing that it's going to help you tackle the most important things first, which are calories and macros. This is interesting. I, I agree with that. But also what I've noticed personally uh, when I've gone more grass fed and grass finished and all that is, you know, how my body receives it in terms of like, like if you have any kind of food intolerance, allergy, anything that's inflammatory, like, uh, you know, that's going to affect my digestive process. And a lot of times I feel like people just don't, uh, aren't aware of, uh, you know, pinpointing exactly where that's coming from. And they're just sort of yeah. dealing it and medicating it constantly. Um, and if they paid a lot more attention to the actual food that they're consuming, I think that that would, uh, you know, push them a little bit more into choosing more quality foods. Uh, my answer to this is always. I mean, I, I'm always prioritizing it. Sometimes it doesn't happen though. Yeah. And I don't freak out about it. Mm. I mean, if, if I have the option that I can get grass fed, non GMO, and not processed foods, that's 99% of the time, that's what I want to eat. But the reality is there's times, I mean, this was a classic example. I'm in the middle of a move and moving furniture and doing shit. We have, we had, we packed our, gro <laughs> packed our entire refrigerator up. So I'm eating out for a couple of days. Like I'm not going to freak out, you know, I'm not going to make it, oh, I'm not going to lose all my gains or, oh my God, I'm going to poison my body. I'm going to be so fucked. It's like, yeah. okay, it's not ideal. But then when I have the option and I can get back to, and could I have made the priority, could I have still made a choices that were non-GMO, non-processed foods? Of course I could have, mm. but it's like, Jesus, I'm not going to add a bunch more stress to a stressful weekend of moving and stuff like that. I'm not worrying about it. But then when I'm grocery shopping and I'm like picking things out, I'm very mindful of these things. Yeah. You, you actually said something that's very important. You said unprocessed. Now he didn't say this, the person didn't say this in the question, because you could have, you know, could you get non-GMO chips, you know, non-GMO organic, you know, cookies yeah, or candy. gummy bears yeah. <laughs> or, you know, something, you know, uh, a, you know, a ice cream cone or whatever. Natural. You could. Does that mean it's going to be good? No, it's, it's probably going to cause you to overeat. Uh, the most important thing uh, from a, uh, just from a behavior standpoint is avoiding heavily processed foods, healthy or not, organic or not. Heavily processed foods encourage overeating. From a behavioral standpoint, simply avoiding Heavily processed foods tends to get people to eat more appropriate levels of calories. This was a trick. This was a hack that I figured out late into my career. Remember, originally my career was like, hit your targets, hit your calories, here's your meal plan, whatever. It, wildly unsuccessful. I'd have some success with the most disciplined clients, but they'd also fall off at some point. At some point, I started saying this to people. You know what? Don't worry about anything else. Yep. Just eat whole foods. Just eat whole natural foods. And what would happen is they'd lose weight and get in better health because- it encourages more appropriate levels of eating. This is very obvious if you've done this a few times. If you've done, if you've gone on a, a whole foods diet where you've been consistently eating nothing but whole foods for like thirty days, and then you introduce something that's highly processed, even if it's considered healthy, like let's say like a protein bar, which mm -hmm. I this happened to me with competing. I got, I messed around with this a few times, and it was it blew my mind that uh, first of all, when I ate that heavily processed food, it actually didn't taste as good as it used to taste because I was so used to whole foods. And then I got, I had a second one and then a third one. Okay, now all of a sudden, not only did I get used to that taste, I like that taste. Now I was craving that. And then I went from like one bar to two bars to three bars a day, and it kicked that that craving back up. So if you've done that enough times where you've completely eliminated all these processed foods, eat whole foods for a while, then introduce it and just pay attention to your own behaviors. Totally. And yeah. see what happens. Yeah, I mean, the if you look at all the food categories, here's how you know, right? Look at all the food categories, chips, uh, you know, frozen foods. Um, you know, cookies, health foods, the number one, the, the top five sellers of every category, including health foods are because they taste the best. It's not because look at the health food category. Look at the top five selling protein powders, top five selling green juices, top five selling whatever. 
The reason why they're the top five is not because they're the best with their ingredients. It's because they taste the best. In fact, you listening or watching this podcast probably picked your health food, whatever, because of the taste. This is what happens. So heavily processed foods, they're so palatable. They're designed to be that way. So a lot of the money goes into uh, you know designing these foods this way. They make you overeat. Avoid those, and then things start to kind of balance out kind of naturally. I know it sounds crazy, but it's totally true.